Hello and welcome to Rock Your Block. I'm Tia Young, your host, and we have a wonderful show for you today. You know, several months ago, I was trying to install some accounting software on my laptop using uh, the Microsoft uh, Vista operating system. Well, to make a long story short, Vista would not allow me to download the new software, and I was told almost uh, by everyone I spoke to that I needed to upgrade to Windows 7. And then they added this ca caveat, and no matter what you do, stay far, far away from Windows 8. In fact, one of the tech uh, friends that I have told me to actually make the sign of a cross when I pass Windows 8. <laughs> Well, um, I went to several stores, you know, looking for seven, and everybody had sold out of it, and everybody was trying to sell me eight. And of course, you know, I, di I didn't buy that. But I finally decided that I would go to the Tyson's Corner retail store, the Microsoft store there, and purchase seven. And I was ready to do battle with anyone who tried to sell me Windows 8. Well, 45 minutes later, my family and I were walking out the store. I took my 89-year-old mother, because she's feisty, and I took my sister so that they would help me not purchase Window 8, Windows 8. Uh, 45 minutes later, I was walking out of the store with not one Windows 8, but two uh, software packages for Windows 8. I still don't know how the salesperson charmed me in the way that he did, but. Uh, Aziz, when we walked in, that's his name, is Aziz. When we walked in, uh, the first thing he did was went over to my mother, got her a chair, asked her if she wanted something to drink. She said hot tea. He went and got her hot tea, and then he brought my sister and I uh, juice to drink. And uh, I guess I was just uh, in awe of that type of service. So I thought that uh, I should have someone from Microsoft come in today and talk to us about Windows 8. So. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Rick Green, manager from the Tyson's Corner Retail Store. Rick, how are you today? Really good. Welcome. Thank you so much and for thank having you. me. <laughs> thank you for taking time away from your busy schedule to yeah. come and talk to us today. Excited to be here. Rick, tell us a little bit about the Tyson's Corner Store. I know you haven't been there that long, maybe a year, about a year or so? Uh, we opened on November 17th of mm -hmm. 2011. Okay. So we're okay. just a little over a year now, about okay. 18 months. Okay. And uh, so just tell us about the store and about uh, you know, how long you've worked for Microsoft. Okay, sure. Um, so I've been with Microsoft. I'm approaching my four-year anniversary. Um, I uh, feel super fortunate. I was really excited to be part of the, uh, selected to open up um, one of our first stores um, when we were building out these uh, retail locations. So we opened up our first store in uh, Mission Viejo, California. Mm -hmm. um, I then went to open a store in San Diego. Um, a third store in Bellevue, Washington, okay. and then um, I was picked to open up our first store in the Northeast here in Tyson's Corner. So wow, really that's exciting. great. Yeah. That's great. Um, I know that uh, Microsoft has just released uh, Windows 8, I think, in is October or yep. somewhere like that, October 2012. Um, could you tell us more about Windows 8 and what it offers to general user? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so first off, Windows 8 has been completely reimagined. It's, uh, it really allows people to get the best experience for both work and play. Um, you can be incredibly productive with the touchscreen uh, utilization that um, is part of Windows 8, um, but you can also still use a mouse and a keyboard if that's the way that you want to be productive. Um, Windows 8 is compatible and works with um, all the software and all the devices that worked with Windows 7. So all the stuff that you were used to and everything you loved about your previous PC experience, mm -hmm. you can carry that over and you can still use it in a Windows 8 environment. Right. Well, I was really um, impressed because, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible with social media. Okay. Still trying to learn that. And I'm not the best with my laptop and understanding what to do. So, I, you know, I was really terrified sure. uh, to try and load it. And yep. I did the load and it was fine. Um, and uh, I was able to begin to navigate. I mean, there's some things that I still don't quite know, okay. but it was not at all a bad experience. So, I mean, why are so many people saying, make the sign of the cross <laughs> when you pass <laughs> Windows 8? <laughs> I think that uh, it's a great question. So, and I think, you know, we get people in our store every day that, um, you know, technology can be really scary and change can be really frightening. Yeah. Um, and so, and like I said, Windows 8 has been completely um, reimagined. And just seeing, you know, getting used to those new gestures and finding your way around, 
um, it can be a frustrating experience. And that's why the stores are there. That's why the team is there. That's why we have people like Aziz to help you out and yeah, bring you juice great. and <laughs> do all that stuff, um, as well as the rest of the team that's there to help you um, with learning and education and trying our best to really eliminate a lot of those frustrations and fears about the new stuff. I think it has a happy look, you know, with the with the colors. Yeah. And I, I mean, see, you're you're actually wearing <laughs> one of the colors. I am proudly. There, it has a ha and it it makes you want to work. But then it looks like, uh, well, you know, maybe I could play and have a little R and R. So can can we still do things like that? And yeah. what about movies? And tell us about some of the cool features. Yeah, you absolutely can. So. <clears throat> so you can uh, watch movies, play games, listen to music. Um, you can be productive. Um, you can, you know, so you can still do Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, all of that stuff. Um, and then I think one of the other really great things is that there's a, a Windows Store now where um, you can go and you can download all those things that you want to do as well. So apps to to edit uh, movies or edit photos or mm -hmm. play more games mm -hmm. or. Um, you know, any of that kind of stuff that you want to do. So there's a lot of really neat stuff. Can you compare um, the, the new look of, um, of Windows with, some, with the old look? Sure. I think that would help. Sure, sure, sure. So there's, in the new one, you've got this really colorful, bright, beautiful start screen. Um, on the start screen, it really comes to life with everything that you want that's important to you. So um, you can customize it and personalize it in a way that um, brings everything that's important to you, your friends, your family, um, your calendar, your, um, your email, and it puts it at your fingertips so it's, it's easier for you to access. The other thing is, um, so the live tiles actually bring information to you that, um, that is most important to you. So your social networking that you're still trying to you know, get better at, right. you'll see your friends' social updates on those live tiles as they happen. So if I post something, if I change a picture, um, it'll be there for you without even having to go into the app. Mm -hmm. um, you can also get sports updates, weather, news, um, and you'll see this constantly changing um, live tile experience. And that's one of the biggest differences between the two. Well, how do you respond to someone who would say, well, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm at Vista, I'm going to seven, why do I need to go to eight? That's a great question. So um, Windows 8 is, so it brings out, first off, it's a touch optimized experience. So, and people, yourself included, can go to devices and just start to use them in a whole new way. And people really love the touch experience. Um, the other part is the custom, the customization, the personalization that you can do in Windows 8. It gives you more flexibility than any of the operating systems we, that we've ever created. So when you say touch, uh, you, you're meaning like you can touch one of the squares yeah. on there. Cause so you can completely navigate um, in both in work and play, um, or in internet experience and browsing, and it becomes very natural. And right. Windows 8 has been completely optimized. See, I think uh, with the kind of computer that I have, I'm not sure I can actually touch. It seems like I still have to use my mouse. So, or maybe that's something that I just don't know what I'm doing well, totally yet. If, it's, if you didn't upgrade on an older style computer, mm -hmm. um, Windows 8 still works amazing um, when you're upgrading from Vista or from 7. Okay. Um, and if you get a chance to use a Surface or a tablet mm -hmm. device that has Windows 8 on it, you'll see that it's a very natural, very fluid, very fast, responsive uh, touch experience as well. You can still use a mouse and a keyboard, right, and you can still be productive that way. Um, but Windows 8 will bring a touch um, piece to it that's pretty fantastic. That's pretty good. That's good. What about um, classes? Um, I, I know my sister asked me, she said, Tia said, do you think that um, there are free, not, well, they don't have to be free, they're mm -hmm. probably not free, but um, she said, I'd be willing to pay to go to sure. class. And she said, do you think Microsoft has any classes at Tyson's? I said, I don't know, but I'll ask Rick. <laughs> so Rick, I'm asking, do you have classes? So yeah, we do. Um, it's one of the things our customers have told us that they love the most about our stores is mm -hmm. getting a chance to work with our team that's highly trained on all the Microsoft products um, and really to help educate and excite people about you know, mm -hmm. embracing a new operating system or a you know, new office or all these new products as they come out. So the answer is yes. Um, we have um, free workshops that we put on on a regular oh, basis. Oh, free? Yeah, absolutely. Like free. And we, right. we get a lot of people that attend them. It's very hands-on. We'll provide the new technology in the store, so you don't even need to bring your computer. Oh, um, we give you a computer to work on. There's books and resources. We have a theater that seats comfortably about, I'd say about 35 to 40 people. Wow. Um, in the theater where we do the workshop, there's some pretty high-tech stuff. There's a 103-inch touchscreen display where we'll, we'll um, 
put all the information up for the workshop and everybody can follow along and ask questions oh, and sweet. people really love it. So is, are you doing this daily or are there certain times? How would someone, if I wanted to sign up for a class, what would I have to do? So the easiest way would be to go to our website, so microsoftstore.com and you can see there's a community calendar and it'll give you a list of all the events that we have available. Mm -hmm. um, if you did take part in one of the workshops and you wanted to continue the education and have it be more personalized and maybe a more one-on-one -on -one experience, then we do offer a personal training for people as well. And a lot of our customers really love it. It's one of their favorite services that we provide. Right. What about uh, for uh, the little ones, uh, the ones that are uh, probably know more about the computer than I do, the 10 and 11 year olds. Yep. Is this something that's easy for them to navigate and, you know, downloading movies? How, how, what's the, is, there, what, is there a big difference on how you do that as compared to the old way? Um, well, you still have the ability to. The difference today is that there's a Windows Store and there's different apps oh, okay. that you can use. Okay. So whether you wanted to use Microsoft apps like an Xbox Movie mm -hmm. app or um, Xbox Music app, okay. um, there's, a, there's different ways to download content and play content. The other ones that people are really familiar with, like Netflix or Hulu, those are available too. Okay. And you can still use those as well. Um, wow. You brought up so some of the free workshops. We actually have one. Um, we do some community events in our oh, in that theater. Okay. Um, one of the ones that's really popular is Tech Tots. Um, Get out of here. No, yeah, oh, it's really neat. great. So you can come in and you'll see not even ten year olds. You'll see you know six year old kids, and they're coming in and they're learning how to use technology. They're that learning. That is fantastic. No, it's really amazing. Oh wow. Yeah. Repeat that again. I like that. I think a lot of mommies are going to like that. So we offer different programs for various age of um, kids, adults as well. Um, one of the ones that's really popular right now is Tech Tots. Mm -hmm. um, in the summertime when school's out, we'll have summer camps for kids. Um, and we do all these really different great kinds of learning activities um, in that theater space. We really try to treat it as a community hub where we bring in um, a lot of different people to learn about technology, have mm -hmm. fun with technology, wow. um, and it starts at a really young age and, oh, and goes all fantastic. the way up. It's, it really is. Well, um, we're, we're going to be taking um, a break in just a little bit, but uh, I would like you to tell people how they can get in contact with you. With me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. If they need to ask a question. Sure. Or make a complaint. Well, <laughs> you got a complaints department for that. <laughs> well, no, I, I'll take I'll take all of that. I will say that I think that um, just like Aziz, mm -hmm. um, I'm really proud of my staff and the team that works inside the Tyson's Corner store. And I think that they're all when they're all empowered to take care of every customer that comes in. And it, wow, whether it's great. just juice and tea mm -hmm. um, or whatever it needs to make it the right experience for the customer, the mm -hmm. team knows that they can they can do that, um, and they don't necessarily need to come to me. I really trust them and I empower them to do what they need to do for the team. Um, if you did need to get a hold of me, uh, my email address, I'll give it to the, to the world. It's, okay. it's rigreen at microsoft.com. And I would love to get as much feedback about the team, the store, Microsoft, our products, um, as everyone's willing to give. Okay, well listen, we're going to take a short station break, but we'll be right back with Tyson's Corner Retail Store Manager, Rick Green. So, don't touch that dial. I helped turn my child's public school into a whole new kind of school. One with a curriculum that really motivates kids. One that has extended hours, six days a week, year round. With loads of academic, cultural, and recreational activities. One that has support services, like medical and dental, right there. A school where parents' involvement is encouraged, where teachers have more time to teach, and students are excited about learning. There's just one problem. My child doesn't ever want to come home. You can help turn your school into a community school for excellence. Find out how. Call 1-877-LOVE-2-LEARN. to -learn. Hi, hello, we're back uh, with Rock Your Block and our special guest, Mr. Rick Green, store manager for Microsoft Retail Store in the Tyson's Corner Mall. Rick, tell me, what is the latest on this Surface Pro? My 18-year-old nephew, Elijah, was going to school the other morning. He said, you're meeting with Microsoft this week, right? I said, yeah, right. He said, tell him to talk about the new Surface Pro. What? is Surface Pro. 
So I love to talk about Surface and Surface Pro. So this is a Surface right here. Mm -hmm. um, so first, that's it. it's a tablet device really made to showcase um, how beautiful Windows 8 is. Okay. And this is a, a real, one of the really great devices to do that. Um, I'll go over a couple just a quick things about um, the Surface itself. So first off. It's like a, ta a tablet? Is it is. This is a tablet. Yeah, it is a tablet. Can um, I hold it? See yeah, absolutely. Top. Wow. That's Sup really light. Super light. Ooh. Yeah, it's really thin, and it's really got light. Power? I mean, you think something yeah. so light wouldn't have much power? No, less than two pounds, and that's with the touch cover on it. So wow. it's okay. uh, it's really amazing. So the reason why it's so light is what it's made of. It's the only device that's made of a material called vapor magnesium. We call it vapor mag. Mm -hmm. um, it makes the device super light. It's super strong. Um, it's scratch resistant, um, and it, it makes it pretty amazing. Some other cool things about it. Um, it's got three essential ports um, that we think you know, really make the Surface really special. So it actually has a USB port. So if you want to use your keyboard and mouse or mm -hmm. any of those other devices that you're used to using, you can use them with this. Um, it has an HD video out, so you can take images from the Surface, your movie that mm -hmm. you're watching, mm -hmm. and you can put it up onto a big TV or another display. It also has a spot for a micro SD card, so you have expandable storage and you can constantly be swapping cards if you need to. Wow. So you could have a card awesome. that has a whole bunch of information on movies, music, pictures, mm -hmm. and you really can, so if you use the micro SD card, you'll never run out of storage space. Um, one of the things that you probably don't even see on here is it has a kickstand built into it. So you Get can actually have it neat. sit right there. Um, and you can watch content, you could watch movies, you could, um, you could stream video, you could surf the internet, and you don't need to hold it that way. Um, and then it goes away and it's gone when you don't want it to be there. So it comes out That's only cool. when you really want to, when you want to use it. Now, I see you got a lot of little ports. Let's see, is that, is that, is that considered a port or what is that? It looks like an eye, a camera or something. Is so it? this one is actually for headphones. Okay. So you could plug in uh, headphones okay. and the audio sounds fantastic through it. Great. What about the other side? I saw some. Sure. Okay. So oh. on this side is the USB port. Okay, that's the one you want. Um, this is the, for the HD video out. So you could connect a cable and send this to an HD monitor. This is where the power plugs in, right there. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's all, it's all built in. It does have, I'll put the kickstand back out. It does have front and, so there's a front camera. So you could actually do video chat, web okay. conferencing. Um, you could take pictures with it. And there's another one on the back here. So if we wanted to film everything out there, mm -hmm. um, we, we could actually make a movie while it's in this mode right here. That's neat. Turn it around. Let's see if yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Joe can catch. Let me, let me catch this. Let me just. That is really cool. Look at that. There it is. So it has an amazingly, it has an amazing widescreen uh, HD, clear HD display. Um, it, it does. It does have Gorilla Glass, so it's a, in, extremely strong. Um, and then, you thought this was a cover. It looks like a cover, um, but it's also what we call a touch cover. So it's actually less than three millimeters thick, and it's a keyboard. So you can instantly go from having fun and watching movies to opening up email and being productive, um, and using uh, you know the keyboard that you're familiar with. And it's not an extra device. It's actually part of the Surface. It's really great. So you have a choice of using the keyboard that comes with the Surface, or you can hook up you your keyboard. The, I'm old fashioned. No, it's fine. I have that. That I mean, that's almost too good to be true. <laughs> I mean, I, it just looks like it looks like a little toy. Yeah. But it's not. It's got power. No, it's it's. What uh, can it run? I mean, can it? run all kinds of software? So or? Surface Pro can run all the software that your regular PC could run. And then really? it can also install apps from the Windows Store. Um, so you, have, you really have the best of both worlds. You have all the traditional software that um, you had installed and used on your previous machine. Mm -hmm. You can run that on a Surface Pro. And then you could also get, there's tens of thousands of apps and the market's constantly growing. Um, and you could download apps and you could, you know, have a whole bunch more software that you can add to it. Now, how old is this? I mean, did, did it just come out? Uh, Elijah thought it had just come out within the last couple of months. Yeah, February 9th was the launch. Um, wow. That day we had mm -hmm. hundreds of people waiting outside of our store, waiting to get their hands on the new Surface Pro um, product. Um, people have, you know, I think people have, customers have been telling us that this is the type of device they've wanted for a long time. They like a small, light, 
tablet form factor, touch is very important, mm -hmm. but they also want to be able to run you know, your, the traditional programs that you need to run. Right. Um, so whether it's Outlook or Excel. Um, so it runs business applications yeah, as well? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. What are uh, some of your customers, and you can tell me the good, the bad, the ugly, you know, <laughs> what, what have they been saying? Because it hasn't been out that long, right. so, you know, are you getting feedback already from people? What are they saying? People really love it. People are super excited about it. Um, I mean, there's, there was, there's, was a wait list. Um, that oh, there were okay. people that were pre-ordering them, that were trying to get their hands on them early. Um, and, you know, we're just happy that we finally have this product that people have been asking for for a really long time. Wow. Well, I think we need to leave this up if we can, <laughs> just so people can look sure. at it while we're talking. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> um, I want to move on uh, to another uh, subject, and this has to do with customer service mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, things like that. Um, Recently, I was also in uh, stalling, upgrading from Windows. I think I had Windows 7, maybe. Or okay. Maybe. Anyway, I upgraded to 10. And um, I had some problems with installing it. And I ended up having to call like a bunch of places before I really got some help. Mm -hmm. And I did get the help. And it was once I, once I got the right number, um, I got the help quickly. What should people do when they, you know, when they get frustrated and uh, can't figure out how to fix something? Yeah, and it happens all the time. Right, how so do they get in contact with the right sure. um, department? So if you're at home and this happens, one of the first places I'd recommend is to go immediately go to the Microsoft Store website, and you'll see a link on there that says Answers Desk, and immediately um, you can actually start a live chat conversation um, with a Microsoft technician and they can attempt to help fix the problem right then and there um, for you over the phone um, or even possibly remote accessing into your computer and fixing it for you on the spot. Mm -hmm. The other reason though, if it's not everybody wants to call a tech support number and maybe right. that's not the best experience for everybody, um, one of the other things that you can do, and I really encourage people to do this, and I love the fact that our stores are here for people now, mm -hmm. is we have answers desk um, technicians. We have an answers desk in the store, and we have highly trained Microsoft technicians that can help you with those types of issues. Right, so you can bring your laptop in if you want it to. Yeah. Right? We, and we, I love it when people do. So we really encourage people right. to come in. Let us help you with the technology. Let us get you past that frustration. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we get to do is if, you know, when you just install a new, uh, you know, Office 2010 um, or a new program, mm -hmm. there's usually some kind of tricks that we can teach you to okay. help you enjoy the experience right. even better. Right. And I think that that's really, that one of the best parts is let us help fix the problem, get you past the frustration, but then also teach you some stuff so you move from frustration into really loving that new product that you bought. Right, well the day that uh, my family and I went to the store, uh, I noticed there, you know, there were, it wasn't a real long line, but it was a line of people uh, with their laptops right there. And sure. some of them, were, they were getting eight actually installed yep. right there in the store. And uh, the store is really a fun store to go in. It I is. mean, it's really kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, and then even outside of the store, You've got <laughs> a crowd of people before this big screen, and uh, one kid was even there dancing. I don't know what kind of software he had on, but yep. he was dancing along with whatever was on. I mean, it was really a, a neat experience. Yeah, the stores are really fun, and, and we encourage people um, to come in, to learn about technology, to play with it, get their hands on it, but then also to really have fun. Microsoft makes a lot of products that are, you know, um, great for business, great for productivity, but we make a lot of really cool stuff also. Um, what you see outside in the in the mall way are kids dancing and having fun playing Connect. Dance Central has been one of the most popular games available. Um, you know, Xbox is a huge hit. We've got tons of new games. There's we do midnight launch parties in the store, um, and we really turn the store into a really fun place where people can have fun with all their favorite technology, right. and then, like I said, also learn about it. Um, and, and just have a really great time. You know, you brought something up because my mom, as I said earlier, is 89 years old and she is feisty. <laughs> uh, but she actually had fun uh, in the store and when we left, uh, this goes back to the training part, she said a year ago she bought uh, a laptop. Okay. And then she had problems because she said she couldn't see. So we had our eyes fixed. We had the um, laser surgery sure. done. So now she's got 20-20 vision <laughs> okay. and she's back on she needs someone to teach her how to work her computer. Could we bring her in and have her? Because my patience is short. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not working with Michelle and myself. We're, we're not doing a good job with her. But every day, she talks about when is somebody going to help her 
uh, learn how to work her computer. So yeah, absolutely. Um, so the answer is yes, uh -huh. and we have, you know, I think I have a, a several incredibly patient um, employees just like Aziz mm -hmm. um, that would love to spend time with you, with her, right. um, and, I, and I think that she would really, really enjoy the experience in the store. Right. Gosh, I have so many questions that, <laughs> you know, I, I don't even think we're going to have time to, to go through all of them, so I'm going to ask you now. Uh, would you be willing to come back and, and, and share with us more and teach us more? I would love to. About it. That would be yeah, great. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, and we'll, we'll just keep asking until Joe gives me the <laughs> cut sign there. <laughs> um, going back to your sales for, force, I, I was really, really impressed because, I, I mean, I came in to do battle. My techies had given me buzzwords yep. and all kinds of things to say to keep from buying Windows 8. And when I went back and told them that I've got Windows 8, I'm actually working on it. You know, I don't know everything there is to know about it, but, you know, I was able to get on there and get my work done, you know, what I had to get done. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have, like, special training for your sales force? Because, I mean, uh, they were just really off the charts in, in my book. So there, there's very extensive training. Um, they're able to, we go through several weeks, almost months of training with all the employees. And um, when we bring a new employee on board, um, they go through the same training routine. Um, and then we actually have trainers that are, have permanent positions in the store. They don't travel from store to store. Wow. And they spend um, their entire work week ensuring that um, all of our employees are up to date on all the new technology. It changes so fast. Right. Um, and so, the, you know, the training is ongoing and it never ends in our store. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Well, I just got the signal from Joe that that's a wrap. <laughs> so, folks, we're out of time. Thank you so much for watching Rock Your Block, and we thank Rick Green from the Microsoft Retail Store, Tyson's Corner Store. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>